Hey guys. You welcome. talked to them yesterday. No, I didn't. <gasps> guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. I might sound a little different, and it's because she got this. <laughs> that's not why. My um voice is gone. But anyways, so we're at Target. Today's Tuesday, it's the day after Labor Day. We're at Target. I keep stopping <laughs> to itch my leg. We're at Target though, getting Harp some like supplies. lunch supplies and snacks and stuff because tomorrow's Harp's first day of school. So we just came by to kind of get the errands out the way. First of all, it ain't no carts in the Target because I guess whoever the cart boy is is not at work, okay? All the carts Ooh, look. <laughs> are outside. So the school supplies um, section is wiped clean, but we're just going to look for. Like some lunch. I mean, it's in the front aisles too. I just wanted to see what they had. Stop biting your nails. I just wanted to see what was back here. Which is going to be kind of hard because I kind of think I need a cart. Can I buy more snacks? What? Look at the aisles, y'all. It did not look like this last week, which means that everybody started school dropping over the weekend when they realized that their kids went back to school yesterday. This is cute, Harp. Look. I don't know what that's for. It's a dry erase board you're hanging on the wall. Well, I'll use it. Where are you going to write on it? I'm going to write, my mom is so funny. Ha ha ha, she got to do it. <laughs> you think you're so funny. I am. Why don't, you so give you, why don't you give your brother his iPad? Oh, they do have the other ones. I want this one. I like my Target bag. But these ones only cost a dollar. Well, this one's only a dollar ninety nine. I'm going to get one of these. I love having these in my car. Cause you know times is rough in the Philadelphia area for bags, but they had these. They had these um cute little ones that were in the the um dollar section. And my grandma stole my big one, so now I'm gonna get another one. All right, let's see. What's that? That's Halloween. Candy. You don't need to have a sweet tea. Alright, we're gonna shop. For Halloween. For school lunches. And then Halloween. I'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> so alright, so we're back from Target. Hopefully the lighting is a little good. I don't have my light on my camera because it's upstairs. But I'm gonna just quickly show you what we picked up. Um I literally just sat in the car for two hours because Enzo was sleeping and I didn't want to make him cranky and wake him up so I just sat there on TikTok but I was like I can't do this anymore so I got up so he got a good nap that's all that matters um so I picked up like a couple reusable bags I had already put them in the car but I picked up like a medium size of the red one I picked up another one of the fabric ones picked up a big red one and then in the bullseye section they had some of these they were cute i got two i got the green one and the pink one so for her to go back to school tomorrow i just picked her up some sandwich bags some snack bags we don't really use them but i was like they're nice to have um i got her like this little container thing they didn't have like any of the kids ones what's wrong though so i got her this one that like a sandwich goes on top it has a fork a spork in it um, so it opens and then you flip this one and it's a sandwich goes here it has the spork and then it has an area where you can put stuff down here so like something in a container i don't know i don't know yeah got this one and then i also got her one that's specifically just for a sandwich because she's super repetitive when it comes to lunch like she will just eat a sandwich every single day so i got her that one so that it could stay nice and fresh I picked her up some reusable snack bags. <laughs> What's the matter? Are you still cranky? You slept good, buddy. You're not cranky. And then we got this is mine. That was a terrible angle. You know, I, you guys know I hate my hair being back. She got a pack of like little sports bras. She was getting too big for hers. I got her like some little regular white bobble socks. It's a bag. You don't mommy got you a cup. I gotta wash it. Give me one second. Some socks for gym. Some Miss Jessie's leave-in condition. Some ankle socks with little ruffles. Another pack of bras. Child. 
this is the only thing they had in the school sack for kids, a little ice pack. And then Enzo got this Contigo cup, but I'm about to wash and give him. And then lastly, we just got some lunch stuff and some snack stuff, so you guys don't care about that. But yeah, that's all we really picked up. What do you want? It's just a bag. It's nothing in here. Oh, you want? You think it's fruit snacks? That's right. It's not fruit snacks. It's just a sandwich bag. Uh oh. Oh, I was gonna say, I didn't have any more fruit snacks. Oh no. Good morning, everybody. It's seven in the morning. It feels illegal to be awake this. Lens would have broke. Am I gonna be dumb and put it right back where I just got it off of? Probably, so I'm gonna move it because I don't need another broken camera. But, seven o'clock in the morning, Harp and I both have been up since seven, I mean six, sorry. Because Zoe woke up and then she said she couldn't go back to sleep because she's excited. And then, and then I just stayed up because I was like, I'm not gonna fall back into a deep sleep and I gotta get up. So now, here we are. We are getting Harp ready for school. She has a half day today because um, they have it all week, but I'm still gonna, um, I'm still just packing her lunch. I don't know because I get really paranoid about if there's actually lunch on half days. And because this is a new school, I don't know. So I'm just gonna pack her a sandwich and stuff just in case, just in case. And if not, it's fine. She can eat it when she gets home. But I don't know. So it's just how my brain works. I just be like, we well, won't have me sending my kid to school with no lunch. Even though most people don't have lunch on half days. But still. Um, Enzo is still asleep because we still have time until we need to leave. So I didn't want to wake him up super super early because that's just an extra human i would have to be <laughs> tending to right now um so yeah how are you feeling this morning harp we have to be careful when you guys see harp in her uniforms this year because since it says the school name on her shirts and everything else whereas before it didn't so you guys can see her in her uniform but this year for security purposes it might be some blurring action going on. I don't know. Because it does say the school name. But yeah, y'all know I'm not really like a morning person. She was excited. I mean, I'm excited for her. I also get really nervous that my alarm isn't going to work. So I just was up waking up every hour. Like, did I oversleep? Did I oversleep? But we're doing good on time. We got like 25 minutes until we need to leave out um it sucks that it's a freaking heat wave because you don't like a lot of meat on your sandwiches mm -hmm. you just like the bread and the cheese part <laughs> i um it's gonna be 95 degrees today it's 76 right now but it's gonna be 95 today like that's illegal sort of kind of good morning hmm? good morning guys <laughs> what was it my first day of school. That's it? That's all you gotta say? Yeah. Oh, it is 7.50. First of all, I'm not a morning person. I already knew that, but today really confirmed I'm not a morning person. Because I told you guys I got up at 6. Um, and I just was like, I'm not gonna go back to sleep because I had to wake up soon anyways. Child, when I tell you sleepy all day. I did end up taking a nap with Ezra. <laughs> Not the intrusive stuff. I mean, but you're crying when you're the one that knocked it over. So you did it, so pick it up. And then you better not drop it. That's exactly why you're not allowed to have markers. He just threw on my bed. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You're gonna stick the iPad. Anyways, let's hope he's quiet for five minutes. I don't feel good. My stomach just started killing me out of nowhere. Don't even want to talk about it. I literally am about to get right back in bed. Like, I'm not eating nothing. I just cannot. Anyways, I got a package today. 
Girl, I don't even want to tell you when I ordered this skirt. I ordered, I'm going to tell you guys just in case you guys decide to order it for damn selves. I ordered this skirt 713. Today is the 6th. I ordered this a long ass time ago. Yes, I did. And I did email them. I ordered it. The fact that I ordered this July 13th, I did email them literally, I want to say like three weeks ago. They were like, yeah, your order will ship in two days. That was three weeks ago, like I said. Anyways, it's from a company called Revice. I saw it on TikTok. And I was like, oh, that's super cute. Let me order it in case I do go to the Drake concert. Um, and it obviously didn't come for the Drake concert. Mind you, not only did it not come when they told me it was going to get shipped, I never even received tracking information on it, which was weird. And then today, I got an email asking me, like, that I, saying that I should have got my delivery. But I got it a couple of days ago. Anyways, what I ordered, oh my god, I feel so sick, is this, like camo mini skirt like real life hunting lay vibes um yeah do i need her can you not just stick to the apple pen beaks you know i think i think the apple pen is more your speed you know what i'm saying yeah like let's just ditch the real pencils um yeah what am i gonna wear her I don't know. She's cute. I got her in a large because y'all know your girl don't really be a medium these days. And I'd rather things be a little bit loose than a little too tight. So I got her in a large. I'm not going to try her on because I don't feel good. But she's cute. She's nice quality. They kept saying it was taking so long because like they have to source the material. Everything's like not one of one but everything is like I don't know. I don't know child. I don't even know. If you want to get it it's cute it's really nice quality you might not get it for months okay just letting you know now um yeah that was my first time ever ordering from the place will i ever order from there again probably not because i'm just not the type of person that likes to like wait months for stuff and i do start to get irritated like even though i shop a lot i don't forget about my packages so from july to september 6th you're insane but yeah so i got this today but it is cute though because it's not like your traditional like um camo skirt like the green camouflage it's like that hunting stuff whatever she's cute i also got enzo's diapers in the mail today from coterie thank freaking goodness i talk to you guys about coterie all the time you guys know i do have a coupon code with discount code whatever for coterie um it's coterie asia i put it on screen right here for you guys let me just tell you, I always don't realize how much I love coterie until I don't have freaking coterie. So I thought that I had extra like diapers because sometimes like some months, uh, the month will go by and I'll have like two extra packages and stuff like that. And rather than have like a big stock of well, overstock of diapers, I just will delay my shipment for the month. So I did that this month thinking I had extra and then I went to refill his diaper drawer. Girl, nada. <laughs> nada i had luckily like 10 diapers in big bertha so i was using those but when i went to my dad's house over the weekend i was like okay i gotta go buy diapers originally i was gonna go to costco because i heard the costco ones are really nice um and i just never made it to target because even though when i looked on target target didn't really have like any brands that i've ever heard that were amazing anyways like i don't I, what you want a shirt okay let's go get you some jammies i've never heard of a brand that people were like oh my gosh this brand is so good from target like the girlies are just getting subscriptions now so so let's really talk about it you know you got boo boo on your knee you got rug burn oh my goodness what do you want what do you see you want band-aid oh you see your paw patrol band-aids mommy put a band-aid on your leg okay anything to keep you quiet like I literally picked up this camera for five seconds so far and can't even do that. And people think that my job is easy. Who is calling me? Like, calling me at 10 a.m. is insane. I missed the call. Anyways, so, yeah. Um, but it's Thursday, like I said. And I don't really have anything on my agenda today. I don't. I have to go look at my iPad. 
but I'm pretty sure I don't have anything important on my agenda today. I think I'm going to whiten my teeth. I have like this really good teeth whitener. I'm going to show you guys from Amazon. It's kind of expensive. I'm not going to lie. I'm telling you guys now. It's like $80. But it's really, really good. You're supposed to use it 10 days straight. I used it for like 5 days straight. And then my teeth started to get sensitive. So I took a little bit of a break. That was like 2 weeks ago. So I'm going to resume and try to finish the last 5. The next 5 days. Duh. Um... But yeah, I don't really have nothing to do. You could tell I'm like in shambles me mentally because like I don't even I don't even care that my hair looks like this. Like I don't even have any intentions to do my hair. I just have been winging it. Like I'm like it's whatever, you know. Like take me for who I am. Um, thank you guys so much for all the love on the single mom diaries video. Um, honestly, I'm actually quite surprised that so many people liked it. All the comments were so heartwarming. Oh my god, if I didn't get back to everybody, I did read them, but then I began sidetracking my kids. But I did read all the comments. You guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. You know, it wasn't even for me, like, to get, like, accolades from y'all. It was more so, like, just, um, if you have friends that are single parents or, like, your mom's a single parent, like, to just be, like, thank you. Just because, like, we do do a lot. And, you know, like, I mean, I know that anybody could be a single parent. You could be a married and be a single parent. You could be a girlfriend and be a single parent. You could be a single parent and I have nobody. But at the same time, it's just, like, we don't ever get time off you know what i'm saying like we are the default parent all across the board so it just can become like consuming and overwhelming and stuff um and there's nothing wrong with that like we take it on and you know we don't ever really know anybody when we need help and we don't really complain and we figure it out by any means necessary but yeah sometimes it is nice just for like the people in your life to just be like you know like girl you're doing that thing like you don't even gotta say like let me watch the kids like girl you're doing like just notice it you know what i'm saying so yeah i was really surprised that that video did so well um if you guys want like one of those every so often let me know because i could definitely just do that because basically what i did is it was a vlog essentially but it was a vlog where it was less about me and more about my kids and more like raw and realistic of the kids um and that was only filmed over like a day and a half really like it wasn't even a long one um but i could definitely do like way more than that if you want me to so yeah if you guys enjoy more of like a parenting emphasis on parenting vlog i could definitely add those once a week single mom diaries um yeah my eyes are starting to burn i wanted to go like to starbucks today and get a coffee but then like my tummy has been hurting lately so i'm like i don't even want to do that because girl the way that i was uh, feeling yesterday i just swore it was my last day on this earth like i was like surely this isn't normal um i thought this ends up coming but yeah i'm trying to think if there was anything else i wanted to tell you guys because quite honestly like this vlog is probably low-key high-key kind of boring but like you know you can't win them all every week i just i don't have anything going on other than taking one kid to school and being a mom to the other one um you know of course i always feel like mm -hmm, i'm the young parent is everybody staring at me trying to figure out if i'm a parent or if I'm her sister it's crazy because last year i was taking harper to school and we were walking across the street to the school um and a crossing guard was like excuse me like i don't want to offend you but like are you her mom or are you her sister i was like i you have seen me bring this little girl to school every single day this year who else would I be? I was like, I'm her mother. This is my son. Like, what the hell? But I get it. I look like a teenager. But, like, come on now. Like, be for real. So, like, when I go to schools, especially, like, this new school, I'm just, like, feeling, like, so insecure. They're like, who is this little girl? And I'm just like, hold on. I'm about to be 30. But I'm still young to other parents, right? Because they be, like, chefs and doctors and lawyers. And then there's me, a content creator. <laughs> like, what the like we the cool parents okay we are the parents that we always wanted because i be telling her i'm like her when you, when people ask you what do your mom and dad do what do you say she was like oh i tell them that my mom is um an influencer that my mom does youtube and that my dad is a rapper <laughs> i was like oh god she's like yeah sometimes they ask for like your youtube and then they'll ask for my dad's rap name so they could listen to him girl please don't do that Please don't do that by any means necessary. Like, these new age kids are crazy. But, yeah, I'm going to go um, relax for a little bit. Zoe was just hanging out in the bed watching the iPad. If you're like, where the hell is her, her baby at? The baby is sitting in my bed watching his iPad. I can hear him cracking up. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to go take a little bit of a break. I'm going to show you guys my teeth whitening when I come back on because it's really, really good. And I think everybody should have it because my teeth look way whiter. I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but they look way whiter. I used to be like, why are my teeth getting so yellow? But they are sensitive. I'm not going to lie. I do have like little bouts of sensitivity, but you gotta do what you gotta do, okay? Sensitive teeth, yellow teeth. 
I'm leaning this way, so. It's Saturday, oh, welcome back. Try, I think I had decided that, I don't know. I don't know how I feel yet. But anyways, it's Saturday. Um, I'm in the kids' room because Zoe is playing with his toys. Harp went to her dad's yesterday, so she ditched us for the weekend again, but it's fine, you know. I have to share her. Anyways, so yeah, it's, um, so yeah, we're just in here letting him play. I'm about to fold Harper's laundry from last week, so like her uniforms, her pajamas. I'll help you. And Zoe is right here playing with Legos. So he's been like super into these the last couple of days. I'm trying to see if you guys back up. He's been super into these the last couple of days. These are Harper's. I got these for her for like Christmas for like two years ago. She's never played with them a day in her life. But they're like the itty bitty tiny ones. So I think I'm gonna take Zoe to Target and get him like the baby friendly ones. He had like the big baby friendly ones, but how they all got lost. I also think we bought them for him when he was too young. So we're either gonna go pick him up a bag of those or see if they have like this bigger actual Legos, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that's kind of my plan. But I realized it's only 11.47. Waking up early, I'm like, oh my gosh, is this what it feels like to have a whole day to yourself? Like, this is great. But anyways, I don't know why we It's a tower. It's so big. Look at it. You want to show them? Look at Zozo's tower. Up. Oh, Zozo wants to add a white one. Yeah, we're going to go buy you some baby ones because these ones are hard, guy. Um, but I forgot to show you guys the teeth whitening. So I get these from Amazon. They are expensive. They come in a box. They're like $80 to $90. I know. You're like, what the hell, Asia? But Crest is expensive too. And I also have like the... It's not Philips. Is it Philips? I don't know. The one that comes in like the syringe and you... Um, put it into the mouth guard or whatever i have those too and um i just don't really like them as i'm not they work can you just leave us alone for like 10 minutes like this is why y'all be like oh my god he's always on ipad because i can't do anything um yeah we're gonna go buy you some more as soon as i'm done folding the laundry guy um what was i saying what was I saying? Oh, but the other ones, it's just like you have to make sure you have your mouth guard. You have to make sure they fit properly. Then you have the one in the refrigerator. Like, it's just a whole process. And it's just annoying because God forbid you're like, oh, I want to brighten my teeth. But brighten my teeth, brighten my teeth. And you're like, I don't feel like going to get the stuff out of the fridge. Like, it's just too much. So, I found these ones. These ones are 15%, um, which is really, really high. But the reason I like these is because they come already in the freeze. So, I just have them. I told you guys I use them for like five days. My teeth did get whiter. And then I take a break. My teeth are sensitive. My teeth are actually not feeling too great right now but it's cool you know like it's whatever beauty is pain um so oh god this is always so hard to take off so they come in pre-filled little trays like this so it's super convenient because you could just like literally take these on vacation um and as you can see it's lined in the inside like that and basically you'll just put it on not it falling out hey amazon did we get anything from amazon today no i don't think so you basically would just put it in your mouth it says l for lower it you for upper duh and then you'll just bite in and then like like go like that so that it adheres and then you just leave them in for i think it's 25 minutes but i usually do 30 that's probably why my teeth hurt because i do 30 i might do 25 today but yeah then you just pull it off and boom so i'll have these linked down below for you guys like i said they are expensive but they honestly did work um especially if you do the 10 days i'm pretty sure it's great and you can use them like multiple times but i definitely think out of all the stuff i have purchased this was more worth my money so yeah i'm gonna whiten my teeth and i'm gonna fold harper's laundry you're so cute but oh my gosh you're so disruptive we got our house what we do with my thing take all my stuff of course
the humidity said girl why did you even do your hair good morning friends it's monday i didn't post a vlog on sunday you know why i didn't post a vlog on sunday though because when friday came around i like my energy just like depleted i don't know but my social battery got so low last week and because of that i just didn't feel like doing a damn thing like not going nowhere not talking to the camera stuff like that do i have a lazy eye i always ask you this but sometimes i think my lashes make my lazy eye look worse and sometimes i think when i do these i do like one corner a little bit lower i don't know it'll do for now i'll i'll reassess the situation later if you're if you're wondering why i keep touching my hair it's because i did it yesterday and then I walked Harper, and then when we took Harper to school today, it was so humid. So now it's like messed up, sort of kind of. But I'm about to make me an iced coffee because I was so excited to have an iced coffee. Last night when I was going to sleep, I was like, ooh, I can have a coffee tomorrow? I know you're lying, please. So I got the goods. I got the goods. You know, in theory, as an influencer, right? Could I go out my way to make this coffee presentation look amazing? I could. Am I? absolutely not you know why because i just don't do that type of stuff every day sometimes yeah but today no so for my iced coffee i like to do starbucks um i think this starbucks has good coffee beans is that weird but for the creamer gotta hit him with the duncan gotta hit him with the duncan babes okay it's giving very much not brand loyal but you know it just works for us. Say, like, what's up, ladies? What's popping? Brand new whip just hopped in. What do you want up there? What's up there? You want a cup? What would you like in your cup, sir? You want one of the big boy cups? Well, typically, they're Harper's cups, but like, you could use one, you know what I'm saying? You want one of these? Is that what you want? What kind of juice do you want in it? You want to try some almond milk? That. What was you doing this in your room? Did you make it a mess? Did you playing with your toys? I'm gonna get you some almond milk to see if you like it. Kind of brought in your taste buds, buddy. Here. Cheers. It's good, huh? Yeah, it's good. Oh, you like it? Oh, cheers. So good, good stuff. You like it? You didn't, I don't even think you're drinking it, but okay, cool. It's, the, it's always the one hand on a cut for me. Like, he swears he's a big boy. But yeah, like I was saying, I need to do it. I need to figure out what day I'm gonna go to the mall to return something. I have to take my stuff to at this point I think I'm hallucinating. I don't know. I think this eye, the lashes, I didn't flare them out long. Whatever. Whatever. Um if I come back later and I'm gonna eyelashes though, it's because I took them off to fix them. Whatever. But I think I need to Oh, I was telling you guys about the recall in my car basically my car has a recall for the connecting rods near the engine or whatever and like when i was reading in an app and it was like oh like if it is contaminated or something like that then like the engine could catch on fire and i was like what so when i called them to make an appointment i was like oh is it safe to drive she was like yeah and i'm like that doesn't even make any sense so my engine could catch on fire but it's not a stop recall because apparently there's different types of recalls where it could be like don't drive your car like it needs to get fixed asap and then there's ones just like whenever you get around to it why are you closing your gate why'd you close the gate where are you going stop closing it where are you going oh you kind of fast. What is it? I swear, that's the only thing. Coffee tastes so good, but I hate the freaking um, 
aftertaste that it leaves in your mouth. I also think that, like, I don't know what the heck happened to me last week, honestly. Like, I was doing fine, and I was like, okay, you didn't do nothing all this week, right? Like, what y'all was fine with? You guys know, like, I don't even feel bad about, like, not doing stuff anymore. But I definitely was like, okay, you didn't do nothing all week. And like I said, like, my social battery, like, just depleted. I didn't feel like doing nothing, especially Friday and Saturday. Um, like, when I tell you, that's the day I went to Target, yeah. When I tell you, this what? Your Legos? When I tell you that I just didn't want to do anything, like I didn't want to talk to anybody, I just wanted to lay in bed. So, I don't know. I guess, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's like, is Mercury still in retrograde? I don't know. My stars weren't aligned over the weekend though. Like, my, I just was like, I got like real exhausted out of nowhere, but like, I don't know what I was exhausted from because I didn't do nothing last week. But like, just like mentally, physically, like everything, I just was tired, okay? And then I was at church on Sunday, and I don't know, I felt better after church. Um, yeah, so maybe I need to start doing stuff like that during the week because I don't, I don't know, child. But anyways, I don't, what was that that I went to the mall two weeks ago? Last week? Buy your kid logos, they said. It's an enrichment, they said. How long does it take you to dump them all out? I'm not laughing. Anyways, whatever that time was that I went to the mall, I got stuff from Urban Outfitters, but I think I'll return it. Because I think I would like different sizes in it. Um, and this was the only stuff, the only sizes they had. And when I got home and I tried it on, I do just wish it was just a little bit bigger, like for my personal style. Um, but I'm sure you guys, anyways, I'll link it down below as always, even though I'd be terrible at linking stuff. But it's like because, listen, I'd be rushing to get the video, but I'm like, oh, I don't feel like saying they're linking stuff too. But I'm gonna link this set down for you. It's so cute, so I'm gonna order it. I think I'm gonna order the pants in a large and get the top part in a medium, or I might actually get it in a large too. But, anyways, so it's a pair of sweatpants. I know it's gray. <laughs> It's that season, uh, 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 uh. but yeah, it's a pair of gray sweatpants. No surprises there. It's not a typical pair. It's not like any other pair I wear. Okay, it's a gray pair of sweatpants. It's folded over like you can't even undo this. I mean, I guess you could essentially if you pop the threads with a seam, seam ripper. But like, who has time for it? But yeah, so the the pants are cuffed over already, um, which obviously takes a little bit of length, anyways. Which I feel like. They should have just made them run really long because of that. But okay. They're really, really nice and thick. You guys know Urban Outfitters. Their sweatpants are always like really plush and soft. And they're more of like a wide leg sweatpant. So super cute. And they have like a little baby slit right here. So I got these in a medium. Here you go. What? You want your milk? <laughs> here you go. You can have your milk, baby. Here. Um... <clears throat> Sorry, <laughs> I got baby. But so I got these in the medium because that's obviously my size, right? Where's the tag? Oh, these were fifty-five dollars. Try Urban Outfitters be scamming a day before we scam them, okay? But I got them in a medium because that's my size. But the reason I would have liked these in a large is just so that they just hang because like the way they fit, they are more of like a true medium. Like they fit not tight but like snug. And the style of these, I would just prefer these to just be like slouchy, hang, like be like loose at the waist, you know what I'm saying? Like just kind of have like give to it. Um, and then the matching top, it's not a hoodie. Switching it on, I'm ordering literally right now because I forgot all about this. It's a bolero. <laughs> it's so stinking cute. They only had a small in the boleros though. The boleros, $39. They only had smalls. So I just grabbed it thinking that like it wouldn't make much of a difference. And it doesn't. Like the small is cute. But I definitely think that a medium or a large would just again give me like that look. I actually think a medium because like I don't mind the small. But it is a little small. Because I usually do take like jackets and stuff in a small. Because um, I do prefer like a smaller fit. But if I'm going to go like more oversized slouchy with the sweatpants. Like to have it just kind of hang. I think I want more of this to hang you know what i'm saying like not to close but like to just slouch right here and more arm slouch so i definitely think i'll probably take a medium in this so that's not cute hurry up and focus all right i'm gonna go get i look crazy i told you i took the eyelashes off but i'm gonna do them later um 
I'm gonna go to your heart from school in like 10 minutes, but I'm gonna leave out in 10 minutes. Um, Enzo is eating his lunch. He actually just woke up not too long ago, which I feel like the schedule works good though because he wakes up at 7 a.m. with us and then he went to sleep at like 11, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's four, I think it was 11 going into 12, so like four to five hours of being awake. And then he slept for two hours, two and a half hours-ish. Um, and then he'll go to bed pretty much at like eight, nine o'clock tonight. Which I like though, because I get a lot of like me time and I can still go to bed early. But I got something in the mail from Amazon. I didn't get nothing special, but I ordered some Shout because my AirPod Pro Maxes, whatever they're called, they're so dirty. It's just like, it's literally trifling. I let Harper borrow them. I don't know if Harper got stains on them. I don't know if I did it. But all I know is that they're disgusting. So usually for like minimal stains, I use the Shout wipes that I keep like in my car and stuff. But it called for the spray this time. So I'm gonna do that later. Um, I have picked up <laughs> measuring tape. Cause it's this hat I want, but I don't know what size I wear to fit it. So I had to order a measuring tape so that I can measure my, so I can measure my hat. You ready to go get your sister? You gotta put your pants on, buddy. Um, I know my head is massive. The question is, how massive is it? 23, what the hell does that mean? I don't know. So it's not, oh, I was like, it doesn't retract, it has the button. Duh! Sometimes I'd be like, you're so smart, but so not smart. <laughs> Good morning, happy Tuesday. Um, currently trying to get to where I'm trying to. But it's all this traffic all over Philly. But then I was like, why is there so much traffic? Girl, it's 9.27 and I'm outside. Yes, 9.27 in the morning, not at night. Not at night. 9.27 in the morning. I'm like, Asia, people are trying to get to work, babes. <laughs> people are trying to get their kids to school still. Like, things that start later in the day. People are taking care of that right now. But I'm just trying to get to where I'm trying to get to. The whole entire highway was traffic, so I got off of that. So now I'm tussling through the streets of Philly. You know, I drive past a lot of cute buildings. I'm like, oh, this is cute. Even though the area be a little sketchy. But, like, the rent prices don't be taken into consideration where the area is, which is, like, the craziest thing. I'm actually going to take this street down, I think. Can I take Fairmount? Do I even know where Fairmount was taking me? I don't know. But anyway, so it's too, I have the air on and it's, it's not that cold outside, but it's making me freeze. But like, what do you do if you don't want the air on, but you don't want the car to be stale? <laughs> Does that make sense? Like, I don't want the car to be like, ew, why does it feel like that in here? But at the same time, it's freezing. You guys can still hear Brandon Boy, sorry. Um, so yeah, so currently taking Zoe to Kith and Ken. Uh, we've been to Kith and Ken before. Um, it's like a little, like play, like Montessori play place for kids in Philly. It's in North Philly. That is North Philly, right? Cause that's North Philly. I'm, <laughs> I wanna say North so bad, but y'all be like, what girl, what? Uh, but those of us that are from Philly, it's it's in North. Because, to me, that's North though, because that's near, yeah. That's like 30th, yeah, 30th and dry, that's North Philly. Like anybody you ever meet from today, like I'm from North. Um, it's so hard not to say North is <laughs> so gross. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, if you're not from Philly, it's North Philly with a TH, you know, like North, South, West, East. But I don't know. It's like, it's it's North to us, like N-O-R-F. You know what I'm saying? A little uh, vocab lesson for y'all. But yeah, we're going there just because um, I told you guys I wanted to start taking Enzo like at least once a week to just do something just for him. That's all, of, not all about him, but like just for him to like really... Um, play and maybe be around other children and stuff so yeah we're gonna go do that I've been here before like I said I've been here with my friend Linda and her daughter um, and you know I work from home thanks to you guys so I'm able to just be like, you know what so let's go it's not gloomy today it's not raining so I figured today's the perfect day to go
got it, it ain't a question Oh, it ain't no one for guessing No more than emotionally invested Showing you all my imperfections Oh, if I let you, don't take me for granted Yeah, if I were to, then you could manage Manage, yeah Open with me, oh, we could be honest Closer to me, oh, giving me silence Promise that you won't let me fall Holding me tight, loving me right Giving me life, all that you could be Telling me lies, making me cry Missing my time the whole time, so just be Careful what you take for granted, yeah Cause with me, no, you could do damage You you could do damage, you could do damage, yeah Worry about it, I'm putting pressure You'll only cut me if I let you So all we ain't doing is just for pleasure Either let me or I'm a lesson, fine, huh? If you want me, don't take me for granted, yeah If I want for then you could manage, baby Oh, we all falling for me, oh, baby, I caught it we could be whatever you want, call it Promise that you won't let me fall Oh, oh, oh Holding me tight, loving me right Giving me life, all night you could be Telling me lies, making me cry Wasting my time the whole time, so just be Careful what you take for granted, yeah Cause with me, no, you could do damage You, you could do damage You, you could do damage down for a nap and I'm gonna eat Enzo's nuggets because she only eats her french fries and I don't know why I don't just ever give him french fries you know what you know why hold on okay I figured we just do a little haul so y'all know I went to exchange my outfit did that that took me what 10 minutes and I was like oh I'm probably not gonna find nothing in the mall right <laughs> jokes on me so first i went to bath and body works i don't know why i was about to call it bed bath and beyond but i went to bath and body works because they launched um like fabric softeners of like the white barn scents and y'all know well y'all might not know this but i love me a good mahogany teakwood moment i'm not really like you know like fascinated with candles like most people but i do stand mahogany teakwood um 
it smells phenomenal so i was like ooh, i would love that to wash my sheets and stuff with right like i was like yeah 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 so went in there girls only online okay so then i went into zara wasn't really looking for anything you guys know when zara has like those really really cute pieces um they're either sold out online or like it'll be like one left in the store so anytime i'm in the mall because i don't go to the mall like often i always am like let me just go browse through this to see if there's anything in there because i don't want to walk past something and not get it and like, i'm gonna buy it online and then it's not online okay cool so <laughs> You guys saw in the montage, I did pick up, well, I did pick up, I tried on a couple jackets, not like coats, but like lightweight jackets for fall. Um, I don't like winter, but I am excited to not have to wear shorts because I just, I'm tired of wearing the same clothes. Yes, I could have bought new clothes, but I don't want to. So after trying on a bunch of jackets, I couldn't find one that I like. And then I saw this and I actually think the price is really, really, is this dirty? I think so. Um, I actually think the price is really, really nice on this. I thought that this jacket was going to be $89.90, and it's not. So I picked up the little bomber. It looks like a little varsity bomber. Like, it has, like, the ridging right here, the ridging right here, the silver buttons. It's like in a felt, but, like, a nicer felt because I have felt, like, the felt i have felt the felt that zara does and it's not always my favorite or it's like too thin like there's no weight to it this one has like a nice weight to it like a real varsity jacket like it's like i don't know it's just nice right it's like in this creamy oatmeal kind of color thought it'd be super cute with gray sweatsuits because <laughs> it's that season um so yeah i got this in a size medium it was made in cambodia everything that i picked up today said made in cambodia and i was like ancestors is that you is that you? And then those t-shirts that I did pick up whenever the last time I went to Zara was, you guys know, they're like the Skims dupe um, of like the stretchy, seamless material. I picked up the white, the light gray, and the dark gray. And I was like, let me just get black because I don't wear black often. I don't ever really wear dark colors. Um, but I don't know. Sometimes I like to just switch up my t-shirt color. So I just grabbed it and they literally only had two of these left. Like all the colors are gone. All the whites are gone. They only had two of these. Like the girlies are buying them up. And it's $15.90 so it's obviously way cheaper than the Skims one. It's not an exact dupe. I can never think of the collection of the... I think it's the Smoothing Collection by Skims. Because I did have one of those t-shirts. Somebody stole it out of my closet. But whatever, we're not going to talk about it. And then, I usually never buy long sleeves. I don't know why. But I was like, maybe I should start getting into them. So, they have this one. Um, and I have the t-shirt version of this shirt. And I actually really, really enjoy it. So, I was like, I know I'm going to like the long sleeve. So, I picked up like the creamy gray color. And I like it because like the sleeves were like stretchy so they do go over the hand. I like my long sleeve shirts to do that. Um, and I just like the way it fit. I also tried on one of these like a long sleeve shirt in Abercrombie and it just didn't do it for me. So I'm happy I got that one. Um, but I do think I'm going to order like a white one. Not a white one but like a cream one and like a tan one from Skims. Um, but I like the ribbed shirt i don't know i really like rib shirts i know rib shirts are not for everybody but i love me a good rib vibe and then i went into abercrombie and the reason i went into abercrombie is because i have um, a cart of stuff on my phone right now for harper but i just wanted to go see if they had it in store because i was like maybe like the colors look different or something like that um i really like abercrombie for kids so the stuff that i was going in there the stuff that i looked at online they had and i bought two of them one of these wasn't on the website but i bought it and it actually was on sale which is great the first thing that I picked up was an Eagles t-shirt. It was inside out because obviously I tried it on. It is this one. Um, it's like more of like a modern take on Eagles. It has like the new green color. I forget what they call it. I think they call it Kelly green. Is that what they call it? I don't know, but it's not the same green as like the old school Eagles color. I'm not really crazy about it, but I was like, it's fine. Um, I just thought it was cute and not like your standard Eagle shirt that you'll get from like the sports store or anything. So it just says Philadelphia Eagles, fly Eagles fly. And then I picked up this eagle sweatshirt it's just it's gray duh because i could wear it all winter um and it just says philadelphia eagles it says nfc championship yeah i think this was from like last not is that what i think this was from last season um but it was cute this one was on sale which is why i think that so i went into a garage and i bought these 
they're a size 28 too they fit kind of snug but like because the t-shirt is oversized in the men's department you can't really tell but if i try it on tomorrow and it just makes me uncomfortable because i think i'm like bloated right now i don't know i think I'm like retaining water i probably won't wear it but i just got them as an option like it's returnable you know but they just look like this they're just like a tan kind of denim um and these are the mom mom shorts yeah this is my first time buying myself anything out of garage but i just got these these were like 45 dollars or something like that and then i walked past this tank top Try to walk past this tank top. Don't know why I needed it, but it's gray. It's gray. It's time to wear gray. I know. We're about to go get Harper Relax. It looks like this. I just thought this would be so cute with like some gray sweatpants <laughs> and like a sweatshirt thrown over your shoulders. Let's go get Harper. Let's go get Harper. What do you mean? No, we can't not go get your sister. We can't leave her at school. What's the matter? What? No one likes a grouchy baby. You go shave your mustache. You don't care. Let's go get Harper. Let's go get Harper. Okay, you gonna get in your car seat? Is it gonna be good in your car seat? Hmm? Is it gonna be good? Or is it gonna be bad? Oh, my baby's still sleepy. Why do you wake up? You gonna feel mommy next to you? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go get harp, okay? Do you want the juice? Or you want your cup back? It's right there. Is there straw in here? Cause you know now they give you paper straw, so you just really never know with them. Soggy straw. And then you can't. Why are you blowing bubbles in my juice? I don't want that straw. You didn't chew on it and blow bubbles in it. Bossy to be a baby. Look at this fat rose on your neck. You just fat boy. You <laughs> fat boy. <laughs> you got fat rose everywhere. Give mommy a kiss. Say, look at this face. I sold to you. Say, Rawr. You want to see yourself? One, two. Rawr. Say one row, two row, three row, four. Five row, six row, give me more. <laughs> Say, Rawr. You can't cover it. Stop. Say hello. Say hello. Show them your mad face, guy. Uh, angry. Okay, let's go get hard. We're going to be late. All right, come on. What'd you say? Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. What is that? Say bye. Oh, did you just roll your eyes at them? I'm gonna be your butt. I'm gonna be your booty. Say bye. Say it. Say bye. Okay, he don't want to listen. Oh. No. Okay. What up, bestie? Like my. <laughs> hey, friends. It's Thursday. Oh my God, my legs are so itchy because I just shaved them. You know, when you don't put on lotion, they just be. But it's Thursday. It's five o'clock on the dot. I'm in my drop tuck, cruising the streets. Um, and I just came to the office so that I could do my makeup because, so you guys, I'm gonna go out to watch the game, have some adult. Well, I was about to put my baby hairs out, have some adult time. So exciting. And it's like literally a gorgeous day outside. So, first. I'm gonna moisturize my face. This is the, this is not a makeup video, but I'm gonna take this, I don't know. Um, I'm waiting for an Amazon package because, I don't know. Oh, I brought Enzo a new sleep suit and um, what else? 
Oh my god, I get a package tomorrow that I'm so excited about. And because I'm so excited about it, I realized how much of like an old person I really am. But yeah, I'm just gonna do my makeup because I'm kind of not rushing, but I am rushing in my mind because I don't know what I'm wearing yet. So I'm gonna do my makeup and then I will come back on here either when I'm done with an OOTD or when I'm out with my friend. Because I'm meeting out with my one friend, you guys never met her. I'm meeting with my one friend first and then we're gonna meet up with Stephanie. So yo let me get my makeup. Gotta hydrate. Cheers friends. Daycare, right? No, she was a she's a fourth grade. Oh harbor. Okay. Alright, so we're walking to the next place. We had two drinks. I had tequila. Oh, my little bones is kind of bumping. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, we're walking to the next place in the city. I didn't show you my outfit, but I got on my little Eagles t-shirt that I got on Ever from Abercrombie. I got on my white bomber from Zara, my shorts, and my Travis Scott's, and my green Bottega, go Eagles, woo! And I'm on my girlfriend, Amber. They never met you, right? No, not yet. No, that's my friend, Amber, y'all. Uh, fly, Eagles, fly. Woo! <laughs> but yeah, we're just about to go to the next spot, link up with Stephanie, and just egg bed, egg real bed, just outside. Just doing what we do. Child, them drinks got me too. See, first of all, I'm like, them drinks got me feeling this because I was drinking tequila and Henny. And Henny. Yep. Go. Okay, friends, we made a pit stop on our, our stop. We're going to a bar, but then we're going to our third Come bar. So we're on, we're, we're on a bar tour, but we picked up some dumplings. So we got some Humpty, or what are they called? What are they called? Humpty's dumplings. We got three cheesesteak three cheesesteak dumplings. They say the cheesesteaks are the best. And three spinach, mozzarella, whatever. So come on, y'all, let's grab one of each. They dip two, they make the same color. Hey, cheers, friends! <laughs> I'm scared, it's gonna be hot. That was hot. Y'all got ketchup? The flavor's coming through, and I will need ketchup. Why is it so hot? I need to find them. I'm trying to try it. I'm trying to try it. It's good. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spinach, mozzarella, and ricotta. Oh, I know. I know what the ricotta is gonna be. I know. Bad. Okay, come on, ready, y'all. Why? You have bubble gut? I don't like. I don't like ricotta, guys. Okay, <laughs> just cheese. Cheers. Where's the cheese? I'm a texture person. I like spinach. Donovan McNabb did not play pretty Eagles anymore. Look, you can jerk it, you can jerk it. Okay. This one's good. I wish it had more I, it's cheese. It's very veggie. It's very spinachy. I wish it had a little bit more cheese. Given spinach dip. Yeah, but like not as much cheese. It needs more cheese. Like it's, it's all, y'all see that? It's all spinach. That looks good. Yeah. Probably no, it's not a lot. You can't taste the ricotta. 
it's literally all spinach with like a splash of cheese for me because i love cheese i wish it would have had a little bit more <laughs> don't get a taste of like uncooked dough if that makes sense damn should i start a cooking channel i made a cooking channel a food review channel i might have to I didn't. It's right here, friends. It's on the side of the St. Bar. Oh, over here. It's a little window. Um, these dumplings. But that was good. I didn't mind that at all. But I'm still going to eat at the next spot. <laughs> so, let's go get some drinks. <laughs> She's back. Um, it's the next day, obviously. Sorry, the window is open. Uh, excuse you. Excuse you. Yeah. Close the door. Thank you so much. Why do you have that hanging in your hair? It's the next day, obviously. Yes, I'm alive. If you're wondering how I'm alive, it's because I got a liver of steel. So it's Friday night. My dad actually took Enzo for the night and my mom is gonna watch Harper for me. So I'm gonna go to dinner and then I'm coming home. I'm not staying out late tonight because I was out late last night. But um, I got some packages. I'm about to go do my makeup because our reservations are for 8.45. It's 7, 7. My clock in my room is wrong. It's 7.05. I think it's 7.10. I don't know why it's wrong though. Because when I put the time in, I do it by the minute that my phone says. And then it's always still wrong. But anyways, I got to pack it in before I go do my makeup. I don't know what I'm going to wear. I think I'm going to wear what I wore on my first date. Um, that time I went to assembly. I think that's what I'm going to wear. Because I still never got a picture in it. And I really like that outfit. But so I got a package from Owala. I have ordered some cups for me and my kitties. Guys, no, she's a Owala girly, Stanley who, okay? Owala is superior. So I got Enzo this one. It looks like this. Um, it's insulated, has a little straw. Um, super, super, super cute. I like the yellow and the orange. And it has a red straw. Everything's always really nicely made. They also have like a plastic version if you don't want an insulated one. Um, but I kind of like insulated for him just because I'm like, who wants to drink like juice that's progressively getting hot, you know? And then I got one for Harp for school. This one's big. Because she has one, but um, the straw part is like missing. And the straw that I've been putting back into it, I don't think it goes to it. So like sometimes it comes out. So I just picked her up this one. It's tan and green and light colored. I don't know. It's super, super cute. She liked this one. You guys know with Owala is you press this button. They have different types, but this is called the, I think it's the free spill or free sip. And basically what that means is this part, you could drink of, out of it like a straw. like. But if you're someone that likes to go like this, um, it has the whole open spout. So you have the option rather than buying a cup that's straw based or spout based. Owala does both two for one babes. Um, they also have like other versions, but I like this one because sometimes I am a straw person most of the time. But other times I do like to, you know, like if I'm parched. But then I had to get myself one because duh. Um, this one's so cute. They always do the cutest colors. I get all the email alerts about the new drops and girl they be selling out like hot cakes like you would think it's like a sneaker release but i got this one so they kind of are like all in the same come here cup color family which is why i picked them like not identical but somewhat in the same like muted desert colors um they didn't have a green for enzo that's what i was trying to find but this one's a 40 ounce i have a 32 now um and i just rather not have to refill my water multiple times which is why i got it love the little hint of hot pink and the greens are super cute so yeah i got those for us and then i had just got enzo like a whole bunch of new pajamas that have been coming in <laughs> he got these cat and jack pajamas like pants and tops and they're so cute but i packed them for him to wear at my dad's um but they're adorbs i have to get him some more um and i just got him some onesies from target but yeah, I'm gonna go do my makeup and then I'll see you guys in the car or at dinner because I gotta go get ready. So I will be RB. Hey guys, it's Saturday morning. I didn't really vlog that much. We just went to dinner and literally came right home. Dinner was chef's kiss, the cream corn, the asparagus, the mashed potatoes, the lobster mac and cheese, the steak, crab cake. Everything was so good. But I'm about to take Harper to a birthday party. You know, God, God, I have a little balance. I was supposed to be going to get Zoe today, um, but they're actually coming to Philly tomorrow. So rather than me drive, 
just to come back at the same time i'm just gonna get him tomorrow so yeah yeah i'm like freestyling my day you know you gotta take advantage when you don't have kids so harper's going to a birthday party we went to target really quick to pick up um a birthday gift for her friend i got some gum for my car because i'm running low she picked up a squishy some body scrub a little facial spray a little sunscreen you know what the girlies like we got some tissue paper a birthday card i gotta get the pen harp a bath bomb and then the gift bag Can of we do course a one there? yeah but i'm gonna pack it up now so that it's not as done and then they had this i was gonna get this before during school season um but it was on sale and i was like uh, even even better so it's like this iridescent whiteboard that i could like write i guess like important dates on in her room and stuff um, like if she has like tests coming up or anything like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna pack this. Oh goodness, I'm gonna pack this little gift bag really quick, and then we're gonna head to the party. Well, Harper is headed to the party. I'm just dropping her off, and then they'll probably um, just bring her home because it's a little further, which is fine. I don't mind. Like I don't have nothing else to do. But they always, the kids, you know the kids, the kids never want to separate. So she always ends up at their house for a little bit anyways and coming home um, at night time. So, yeah. My aunt is having like an end of hoorah summer thing. So I might go to her house today. Um, uh, probably not. So I'll probably do that later. Like go home, edit a little bit, like just get started on my vlog. Um, and then kind of enjoy my last baby free night that was everything about right um but yeah other than that i don't really have plans because i thought guy was gonna be back i love i miss guy so much i facetimed him earlier and the funniest thing is is about, about being a mom like when you miss your kids and you call them and they don't miss you back it's like oh for real though like he just was smiling at me like all right sis like why are you calling me and I was like, okay, bet. And I was like talking to them. Um, they went to, I forget what they're going They're going today, but he's having so much yeah. fun. Like park and like walk around. Oh yeah, he's having so much fun being spoiled, treated like the king that he is, that he's just not even worried about me, okay? Because first of all, Enzo had this shirt that I got a while ago, put this in that Target bag. And I was like, it's cute. But it's not like really like my style for him, but I packed it because I knew my dad would like it. So when I called my dad this morning, like just to say hi to Zoe, why did my dad put on the same shirt to match him? <laughs> I said, not sure it's winning. But yeah, I don't know. I miss him, but I know it's just like sometimes I do need, you know, a little, a little breaky break. Like I get breaks on a regular, but when my mom watches the kids she'd be like it's time to wrap it up but i'd be like uh -huh. you know what i'm saying like uh -huh. but when my dad got the kids and my stepmom they'd be like don't send their pictures don't text her we'll see her don't bother her i'd be like love that for me but all right we got the gift all done and i'm going to let harper sign the card my invite is perfect oh this tissue paper is so pretty it has glitter in it um, and then we're gonna head there. It's like a beautiful day outside. It's 77 degrees. This is my type of weather. I thrive in this weather. I just have on um, some sweatpants and a long sleeve top that I picked up. What was there? The long sleeve top that I picked up from Zara the other day. Since like I'm not doing anything, I'm just literally dropping her off and go back in the house. But it's so gorgeous. This is the type of weather that makes you want to say like F those responsibilities and <laughs> just be outside. Here we go. Wait, we're gonna wait. It is 2.21, Saturday, well, Sunday morning. Um, I just got home, just showered, obviously. I did end up going to my aunt's house with my mom. Um, I look crazy. I just took off all my makeup. I took off my eyelashes just so that I could, like, wash my face. I mean, that made it worse, didn't it? So I could wash my face, like, completely. And then like if I reapply the lashes tomorrow to just like reapply the glue so that they stick a couple extra days. I think I'm gonna wash the lashes too. Cause I actually really enjoyed that lash map. I think that lash map was, I also linked the lash tray that I used. Cause that one was different than the one I've been using the last couple times. It, 
is that water triplets now it's just don't dry off um it was a little bit like of a thicker lash cluster whereas the other ones i use they're like a little more natural which i like like so if i'm having a week where i'm not wearing any makeup at all like if i was doing the bare face thing i would use that lash set i'll try to link those down below i'll link them like lash set natural lash set more full they're not heavy full where it's too much but they're a nice full that it looks nice with no makeup but it also is really nicely balanced with makeup um and the natural one that i was wearing they were pretty when i had no makeup on but sometimes when i wore makeup it was like mm, you're missing something you know what i'm saying so yeah that was a different um lash cluster set but i'll have them linked down below so yeah i just washed them off so i could wash my whole entire face because tomorrow's sunday you guys know sundays are my off days i'm gonna edit in the morning and then i'm going to go get zoe for my dad um and my dad will probably be like at my uncle's house or my aunt's house or something so i'll probably just go hang out there for a little bit anyways um but yeah that's all that's really on my agenda but yeah i went to my aunt's house at like seven o'clock i think i got there like 7 54 so i was two o'clock in the morning what the hell happened <laughs> my mom was like asia we're gonna stay for an hour or two where did that go i don't know it it be her though it don't be me i be like just waiting for her to key 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 because she especially because she doesn't go out often and she just be key key and i just be sitting i was literally sitting there for like an hour on the phone anyways and everybody was in my facetime call like oh my gosh is this our new nephew is this your boyfriend da -da 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 -da. are we going to a game girl can i get past like the dating stage with him but yeah so time flew by i just was making everybody laugh that does what i do you know what i'm saying i'm the life of the party <laughs> i just was cracking over everybody people was like this girl is crazy and i was like because you know hanging with the geriatric sometimes you just gotta make them laugh a little bit you gotta add some sunshine to their days i'm kidding they're not geriatrics but i definitely call them my elders because they're definitely 45 to 50 like y'all are definitely my elders um i always am just a young person it was because like i'm a child but i'm growing at the same time you guys know like i'm 27 but like to them it's like oh like niecey poo was here they be like oh niece hey niece hey niece and i be like hey y'all i'm just here for a good time not a long time oh my god i had some of the best food tonight i had some let me tell you about my plea i wish i would have took a picture of it but i was eating outside in the dark <laughs> not eating outside of the as if there was no electricity but like everybody was in the kitchen and you guys know i'm noise sensitive af so i just was like i cannot be in here it was like 20 conversations going everybody was drunk everybody was yelling i was like i'm gonna go sit by the pool and eat my food in peace i had some fried fish it was so good some green beans not your regular green beans babes these were like chef's kiss i had some fried chicken i had some rice and beans Oh my god, I had some seafood pasta. And it was like my first time having seafood pasta, but it had like whole shrimp in it. Oh my god, so good. I had some corn on the cob. I had some salmon. What else did I had? I don't remember what else, but it was so good. And I had made me a little drink. I had put um reposado tequila in my drink and some guava juice, like some fresh guava juice. And then I topped that off with like a splash of margarita mix um, and a little bit of agave. Oh my gosh, it was, it was amazing. Like, it was it was phenomenal. Like, I, I ate that. I did that. But yeah, I just was hanging out. I just be watching. I just be, I be being a DJ. You know, I be putting on City Girls and everybody be going crazy. And I be like, oh my stars. I be putting on Glorilla Ice Spice. And I be like, mm, oh okay you know what i'm saying but yeah so it's two o'clock though i'm about to go to bed and i'm about to upload this footage so i can edit this tomorrow so yeah that's the end of this two-week vlog i'm sorry for going missing last week i know it's like y'all are probably thinking babes you were doing so freaking good with the consistency and then you just disappeared what had happened was i had i had to adjust to harper going to school but me and enzo kind of got our schedule down packed so now that we spent like the last week and a half kind of working on that 
we have it down to a T. So I will see you guys for a midweek video this week and then a vlog next week. Um, if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. For everybody that has just joined us, um, I'm so close to 55,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. I don't know why you guys are here. I don't know what you guys see in me. I don't know what video brought you guys to me. But I just want to say thank you so much. And I love every single one of you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys just make my heart so full. You make this job so enjoyable. Each comment, each DM, everything. It means the world to me. Um, and for all of you guys that have been riding with me from day one, I love you guys down bad. Y'all already know that. Like day one, eight one, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I will see you guys next week. I love you guys so much. You guys already know. Good vibes. Blessings for this new week for us. Say a prayer. Close your eyes. Dear God. I'm sending blessings to all my friends, okay? And even my enemies, you know? Like, it is what it is. But no, I really hope that you guys all have, like, an amazing week. I hope that if you're going through something right now that you overcome it. Um, and I hope you just know that you are not alone, okay? You are not the only person. And we are all going through things behind closed doors. But I really hope that everyone just has an amazing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I was about to start singing. I don't know. But no, I hope you guys have an amazing week. I will see you guys on Wednesday or Thursday. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. I really, really do. And I'm just so thankful for you guys. And I really, I can't say it enough, you know. I was editing this vlog earlier. And last week, I just was so low in energy. And it's so funny that, like, the, the next Monday when I started vlogging after I went to church, my energy really shifted but i just definitely see like a change in myself um and i just have really been enjoying it but i love you guys just for being there through every up every low in my life you know every upper low every y'all know what i'm trying to say but no i really appreciate you guys appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart i really do but yeah I'm sending positive vibes. I'm sending blessings away. I'm sending love and all of the above. And yeah, I will see you guys next week. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video, friends. I'm going to give you a heart this way. And I'm going to give you a heart this way. i see y'all in a couple of days. Bye, y'all. <laughs>